Hey everyone, I just left Jollibee and I got a few things to try. So I'm going to start off with trying their spicy chicken sandwich. And this is the deluxe. So it has the um, tomato, lettuce, and all that on it. Ooh, it has fresh jalapenos on it too. I like spicy, but I'm hoping it's not overly spicy. It's spicy. It looks very good though. My favorite spicy chicken sandwich is like a tie between Popeyes and Chick-fil-A, so I'm very curious how this will compare to them. Alright, let's go for the first bite. That's pretty good. Definitely has a bit of a kick to it. It's not overly spicy though, but I don't think I've gotten a jalapeno yet. And those can be very spicy. I still haven't got one. <laughs> I think there's only like two on there, so let me try again. Mm. Got an entire one that time. I don't think it's any spicier. It kind of tastes like a bell pepper. Adds some good flavor to it though. And I really do like how this is very well coated. I would say this is pretty up there with Chick-fil-A and Popeye. And it's nice and hot and fresh. Just be warned that it is very messy to try to eat in a car. I will say that I'm very impressed with how juicy that chicken is. Very good. Grab a napkin. I'm so glad I asked for napkins because there was not any in the bag. You definitely need them. <clears throat> yep, that spice is catching up to me now. But in a good way. I do like spice. Alright, I'm going to wrap this up and move on to the next item. I'm actually kind of sad because they are out of Jolly Bee spaghetti, and that's actually what I came here for. So that's a bit of a disappointment, but it's okay. I ended up ordering a couple other things to try out. These are all new items to me. I've never tried any of these items. I have tried the Jolly Bee spaghetti, and that is my favorite. All right. So the next thing up that I've never tried here before. Is the beef steak. It looks like it comes with gravy, mushrooms, and I upgraded for an extra, I think it's $1.50 for the adobo rice. Because I feel like that would be way tastier than just regular white jasmine rice. Because I can make that at home. I'm sure I could make this at home too, but you know what I mean. Alright, gonna try the adobo rice first. Hmm. So far, it kind of just tastes like white jasmine rice. I did get a piece of meat in there. I don't know if that's chicken, like a double chicken or pork, can't really tell. But when you do get a bite with the meat in it, it's actually pretty good. But when you don't get a bite with a piece of meat in it, it kind of just tastes like regular white jasmine rice. Which isn't bad, because I still like white jasmine rice. But I expected to have more flavor <clears throat> with paying an extra dollar fifty for it. I'm going to try it with the gravy. Mm. I forget how good Jollibee's gravy is. I think it's better than KFC's gravy. And I grew up eating KFC gravy occasionally when my family would buy stuff from KFC on the weekends like once a month all right let's try the beef steak I was gonna get a knife but it seems to be cutting pretty good it kind of just breaks apart so that's a very good sign because they are very tender the flavor is good it has a nice oniony flavor actually um, mushrooms, you can tell they're not fresh. I think they're from the can, but still not a horrible taste. What I'm disappointed in this dish is the gravy's cold. So I'm not really happy about that. Um, expected it to be almost burn your mouth hot. But it's way far from that. Put some rice in here to kind of give it some heat because the rice actually is hot. <clears throat> I 
I am sniffling from that spicy chicken sandwich. That rice is so good with that gravy. This patty though, this has some flavor. I really do like how strong the onion flavor is. I think I have one more item to try. I'm gonna finish off this patty real quick. I'm glad I got this to try. Still sad about the jolly spaghetti. Of course I had to make a mess on my new shirt. Messy Jesse. At least it didn't stain it since it is a graphic chain. And the new item dessert pie is the ube pie, so I'm excited to try that. Oh, I forgot I have another item in there that was hiding. The mac and cheese. I'll try the mac and cheese first. Never had their mac and cheese before. I did not know they had mac and cheese. We'll get to that ube pie. Oof. This looks like some good baked mac and cheese. It has that nice crust on the top. Give this a go. This is going to be a big bite. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. This is good. So I thought that <clears throat> I thought that Chick-fil-A had the best mac and cheese. Nope. Jolly Bee just beat that. Oh man. I'm impressed. Now moving on to the ube pie. Ube pie time. Oh, you can see the ube busting out a little bit. I'm so excited for this, you guys. So crispy. All right, let's give it a go before I make a mess. That has a nice crunch to it, very crispy. Mmm. This is good, but it doesn't have a very strong ube flavor. Hmm. Still good though. I do think I like it better than their other two pies. I think those are the coconut mango and pineapple. And I can't remember what the other one is. Maybe I'm getting them mixed up, but <clears throat> I like this better because it's not as sweet. I don't like overly sweet things. Oh, this is messy. I need to clean this up before I head out. Well, overall, I am happy with everything that I tried. Still disappointed about the Jolly Spaghetti because that is what I came here for. And I would say it's still worth it considering I drove almost two hours to get here. But I am pretty happy with everything. So come to Jollibee and check it out for yourself. Have a good one, you guys. See you next time. Bye.